Women's rights lawyer Lisa Bloom taking some heat this morning. She is responding to a report claiming she tried to arrange compensation for women who were thinking about going public with allegations of sexual misconduct against Donald Trump just before the election. Now, Bloom is explaining it all, and Eva Pilgrim joins us with her response. Hi there, Eva. Good morning, guys. She's often on the forefront representing women on women's rights issues. However, she was forced to defend herself for her role in advising Harvey Weinstein as his scandal broke. And now... She's on the defense again, this time after a bombshell report regarding Trump accusers. This morning, high-profile attorney Lisa Bloom, who's represented celebrities like Kathy Griffin and Black China. We had a complete and total victory. Now defending herself after an explosive new report accusing her of trying to secure hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations for women who accused then-candidate Donald Trump of sexually inappropriate behavior. Donors reached out for the first time and said, Oh my God, what can we do to help these women? Bloom represented four women who were considering making accusations against Trump last year. If you're a single mom, unemployed, on the verge of bankruptcy, and you're thinking about speaking out against Donald Trump, an offer of relocation and round-the-clock security is very meaningful to you. The Hill talked to two of those women, examined text messages and other documents they say show Bloom tried to get money for these accusers, offering to sell alleged victim stories to TV outlets, arranging a donor to pay off one Trump accuser's mortgage, and attempting to secure a six-figure payment for another woman. The only compensation I would receive under our standard retainer agreement would be a percentage of the very tiny amounts that a media outlet would offer for, let's say, photo licensing. Bill O'Reilly claiming vindication since the report was released Friday. Bloom represented some of the women who accused the former Fox News star of sexual harassment. O'Reilly tweeting, I told you guys from the very beginning that many allegations were false and politically driven. Just a few days ago, O'Reilly hinting to Glenn Beck he knew info related to the story before it even broke. There is a tape, Beck, an audio tape of an anti-Trump person offering $200,000 to a woman to accuse Donald Trump of untoward behavior. Bill O'Reilly and I can tangle again. I'm confident that I will win again. But don't go after the Trump accusers. Now, one of Bloom's clients and a Trump accuser, Jill Harth, issuing a statement saying coming forward was one of the hardest things she's ever had to do, writing of the hate and the threats that she experienced. She says, quote, I'm terribly disappointed that anyone would suggest Lisa was trying to pay women to come forward. It's simply not true. All right, Eva Pilgrim, a lot there. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.